Good morning, beautiful people. Welcome back to our channel. Home is where our heart is. Firstly, I'd like to give you all a big warm welcome and thank you all for joining me here today in this beautifully fresh, crisp January morning. It's winter, the woodland around looks barren of life, but nature can provide all we need if we just know where to look. So today, I thought we'd explore the weird and wonderful world of a special fungi. This fungi is most commonly known as the wood ear or the jelly ear. This mushroom has many, many special properties and benefits, and it's super easy to find and grows abundantly all year long. So come with me and we'll learn everything about the wood ear mushroom and then we'll take some home and my beautiful Steli will show us how to cook it into a traditional delicious mushroom soup. So the first thing we have to do to find the wood ear mushroom, this strange ear looking jelly like fungus, is to understand its habitat. Now this mushroom is one of the most easiest mushrooms to find because it loves to grow on the elder tree. So to find this mushroom, all you have to simply do is head out to a woodland near you and look for the elder trees. So it's only taken me five minutes walking up this woodland hill and I've already found an elder tree covered in hundreds of the wood ear mushrooms the jelly ear mushrooms. Now, it's easy to recognize an elder tree because of its soft, corky bark. But if you wanna learn more about the elder tree, so you definitely know how to easily find it, then check out our video celebrating everything to do with the elder tree. It will pop up at the end of this video. So I found an elder tree covered in wood ear mushrooms. Now, why are these mushrooms so special? Well, firstly, because they grow all year round, providing us with free food and medicine, even in the coldest, darkest winter months of the year. Now, these mushrooms are so resilient, if you find them frozen solid, they're still alive, and when they thaw out, they'll continue to thrive. And you can find them absolutely dried out by the sunshine to a crisp, and they're still fine. All you do is place them in water or something nice like a sweet sauce and these fungi, these mushrooms will absorb them and turn back into these big jelly-like ears. Now the first thing that strikes me about this mushroom, this fungus, is just how much it looks like an ear. It looks incredibly similar to the human ear. Now, of course, this earns it its common names of wood ear, jelly ear, tree ear, and it also used to be known as a Jew's ear. And of course, these days, that name's a lot less popular. But that doesn't actually originate from a place of hatred. It actually comes from this fungi's Latin name, which is auricularia, auricula, judae. Now, that's quite a mouthful to say. <laughs> now, its name, common name, Jews ear, comes from the end part of this Latin name, Jude, which stands for Judas. Now, what is Judas? Who is Judas? It actually comes from the biblical story of Judas. Judas was one of Jesus' original 12 followers, and it was Judas who betrayed Jesus with a kiss and this ultimately led to the execution of Jesus. Now Judas was so upset and guilt ridden by what he had done, he left and hung himself, killing himself from an elder tree and it's said that that elder tree was covered in Judas ears and it's said that the Judas ear, this fungi, represents Judas's tortured soul because of his guilt for what he had done. So these mushrooms were originally known as a Judas ear and then slowly through time this merged and got corrupted and mispronounced into the common name Jews ear that you hear some people refer it to today. So if you ever hear someone refer to this 
this fungi, this mushroom as a Jew ear, know that it's not coming from a place of hatred, it's coming from a place of history that's just traveled through time and changed along the way. So the Judas ear grows abundantly pretty much all around the world and this jelly-like fungus can be amazing to eat if you cook it properly. Now what makes this a great addition to soups and stews is because it's able to absorb flavour. On its own it's pretty flavourless and earthy with a slight crunch to it but if you cook it correctly it lends itself much better to the Asian style of cooking. If you cook it with soy sauces and vinegars this mushroom is able to absorb its flavours and that's what makes it a great addition to our meals. Now I think it's less popular here in the western world because you could say that this fungi, fungi is kind of ugly but we should never judge a book by its appearance because although yes it might not be flattering to the eye this fungus is packed full of many hidden benefits it's got a wealth of nutrition it's got medicinal properties and some of these medicinal properties will blow your mind but before we dive into all that let's learn how to correctly identify the wood ear so we can be confident that this is the mushroom that we found so to identify wood ears is so 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 easily firstly because they love to grow on elder trees more than any other tree so you'll easily be able to find them if you look for elder trees they grow all year round but most abundantly here in the UK you'll find them in the colder wetter months because they absorb and swell from the moistures in their environment so once you've found some elder trees look around them until you get lucky and find what looks like browny coloured ears growing from the tree you can find them growing on elder trees themselves or look around the ground and all the broken and dead elder branches and you'll be likely to find them growing around there too once you've found your ears look at their color wood ears are a brownish color on top and a lighter shade of brown underneath using your sense of touch feel the top of the wood ear you'll feel it's almost like a velvet to the touch and then when you feel underneath you'll see it's smooth like an ear now a key part of identifying the wood ear that stops you from mistaking it for anything else is that you'll see it always grows facing cup down its ear is always facing down to the earth like an upside down cup knowing this really helps with identifying the wood ear because any potential lookalikes grow with their cups facing upwards towards the sky and they also don't grow on elder trees this is why many people only collect them from elder trees so what I like to do when identifying wild edibles to help fill me with confidence that I've correctly identified whatever it is I'm considering eating is I create a mental checklist per species whatever it is that I'm considering eating now for the jelly ear the Judas ear the wood ear the checklist for me is simple firstly does it look like an ear a jelly like ear check is it a brownish color check is it velvety to touch on the top and smooth underneath check is it growing importantly important check is it growing cup facing the earth is it growing cup side down like an upside down cup check is it growing on an elder tree check if you've ticked all these boxes then congratulations you've officially successfully found yourself a wood ear mushroom and you can enjoy welcoming all the positives and benefits of this fungi into your life now these mushrooms are a great food source because they're available all year round and they're also super rich nutritionally. Wood ears contain fiber, fat, protein, calcium, copper, and they're especially rich in iron and amino acids. 
Now, not only do they have all them beautiful nutrients and minerals and vitamins locked within them, they're also packed full of what's called antioxidants. And antioxidants are incredibly good at protecting our body from what's called free radicals. Now, free radicals are unstable atoms in our body that damage our cells and they cause diseases and aging. And they do occur naturally within our bodies, but they're also caused by things such as pollution. So by having foods rich in antioxidants within our bodies, consuming them every day, this can help us potentially stop ourselves from getting diseases such as heart disease or even cancer. So when it comes to the medicinal uses of the wood ear mushroom, its use in herbal medicine can be dated back thousands of years, going all the way back to ancient Europe and ancient China. In traditional Chinese medicine, where the wood ear is still popularly used today, it's made into a sour spicy soup. And this soup is said to soothe sore throats, help colds and reduce fevers by reducing the heat within the body. Now over in ancient Europe, it's where they believed that plants, trees and fungi gave hints in their appearance to what they could heal. They believed that God or nature showed hints in its appearance as a way of telling us what these things could be used to treat. So what do you think that the ancient people of Europe used to use the wood ear mushroom to treat? Of course, the ears, ear ailments, but they also read into their appearance a lot more deeper than the obvious appearance, which is the ear. You see it's gelatinous, jelly-like cartilage, like substance that it's made out of. They saw this as a sign that it was also good for treating the eyes and the throat, because the throat and the eyes are also made of jelly cartilage, like flesh, like substance. Now, going all through time, you'll see this come up time and time again, being used for sore throats and eye inflammations. Even the famous 16th century herbalist, John Gerard, he used the wood ear to treat sore throats. Now, fast forward to the modern day, it's all these traditional uses passed down through our ancestors through time that have led the wood ear to being researched by modern science today. Now, it's when we come to the modern research into the wood ear mushroom do things get really, really interesting and exciting because this wild edible fungus has been proven to have immune enhancing properties, meaning it helps boost our immune system. Our immune system helps us to fight off colds and viruses and keeps us strong and healthy in our life. Now, not only does it have these immune enhancing properties, it's antimicrobial too. This means that it can help kill them bacterial infections within our body. Now, research has also shown that the wood ear is what's called anticoagulant. Now this means it thins the blood. Now people take blood thinning medications because it can help reduce the chances of blood clots as well as things such as heart attacks. So if you're already taking blood thinning medication, make, seek, make sure to seek professional medical advice before consuming any wood ear fungus. Now the wood ear has also been shown by the National University of Korea that it can kill tumor cells in the stomach, bones, and even the lungs. How crazy is that? So those are some pretty incredible medicinal benefits to the wood ear mushroom. It enhances our immune system. Not only does it enhance the immune system, but it fights bacteria itself by being antimicrobial. It also thins the blood and it's been shown that it can kill tumor cells in the bones, stomach, and lungs. Now, those medicinal properties alone are a, a miracle, an absolute blessing of nature to this earth. But there's another medicinal property to this fungi that will simply blow your mind. Because did you know that this wood ear fungus can offer us protection against radiation? What? How does this mushroom protect us from radiation? Well, there was a study done on the wood ear mushroom 
on mice. Now these mice, some of the mice were fed jelly ear one hour before being exposed to lethal doses of radiation. And the study found that all those mice that ate jelly ear before being exposed to the lethal doses of radiation survived. Whereas all of the mice that didn't eat the jelly ear fungus died from the exposure of radiation. Now this study found that it's because of the high content of a pigment in this fungus called melanin. It was this melanin in this fungus that protects and shields the body from radiation. How incredible is that? This fungus was given to mice and the ones that ate it survived the radiation, the ones that didn't died. What an absolute incredible gift of nature. The world of fungi just blows my mind every single day. The trees communicating with each other through the mycelium network of fungi, but the incredible properties that we've not even scratched to the surface that live within these mushrooms are out of this world. Some mushrooms have even been shown to gravitate towards radiation because they are able to eat it, consume it as a life source, and use the radiation to help themselves grow. And other fungi out, in, out there in the world have been shown that they can actually eat and digest plastic and break it down. Wow. So I'm gonna collect my fair share of these wood ear mushrooms, about a pocket full, and take them home. And Steli is gonna teach us how to turn these these ear-like fungi into a delicious soup. But always make sure, don't take all of the mushrooms, whatever you're collecting from nature. Remember, nature can provide for everyone's needs, but not everyone's greeds. So let's take our fair share. Always remember to leave some so they can keep growing. And let's head home and make some soup. Hi guys, welcome back home. We are going to make some traditional Chinese hot and sour soup with these amazing jelly ears. So we wouldn't recommend eating these raw because they can have bacteria and stuff on them which give you a funny tummy which would be great. However, in our soup they're going to be delicious. So it's really really simple, really easy peasy. Come with us and I'll show you how to make it. For this lovely recipe you will need yourself some jelly ears. I hope you had a good time foraging those off your elder trees. A handful of mushrooms, we like the white mushrooms, soy sauce, vinegar, stock cube, pepper and some corn flour. So with this recipe I'm going to show you how to make one serving. I've got a bit of a cold today so I'm going to enjoy this lovely soup for myself. Might share a bit with Dane if he's lucky. Um, so for one serving of this soup we're going to use four jelly ears, one, two, three, four, and we're going to give them a wash. We're going to use the cornstarch to thicken the soup, and cornstarch is like really crazy stuff, so if you use too much of it, you might accidentally make dumplings, um, which is what we've done before. So you just want to level out your tablespoon, have it so really flat. If you do it heaped, there'll be too much. So one. Two. In contrast, we're going to use three generous tablespoons of water. So we've got a nice gloopy mix. Give it a little stir up. And we're going to set that aside until the end. Add 400ml of hot water to a jug. Add in your stock cube. Stir it up. Pour your stock in the pan. Chip chop your wood ear mushrooms into nice thin slices. If you've ever had a 
hot noodle or a super noodle or some kind of dried noodles and it's got the little slices the little squares of mushroom in it could very well be likely to be jelly ear chip chop your mushrooms add your mushrooms and your jelly ears to your stock it up and then we're going to pop this on a medium heat and bring to the boil keep your lid on and boil for three minutes to soften up your mushrooms add three tablespoons of soy sauce one two Three. Add two tablespoons of vinegar and a pinch of pepper. Give it a stir up. I'm going to leave that on a low heat, nice and warm, cooking those mushrooms. It's been simmering for a few minutes. I'm going to add in the cornstarch. Give it a stir up and as you're stirring you'll feel the soup begin to thicken and then we're done. And there we have it. Ta-da! Amazing Chinese style mushroom soup. Oh my god. Woodies and normal mushrooms. If you want you can throw in anything else when it's cooking. Yeah, you can chuck in some sweet corn. Some peas. Peas and any, any kind of veg you like. Some it's tofu. Really one of those really good soups that you can just kind of alter. Once you start making it, you start realising how much you can yeah. add to it. Which Go is wild. Great. Go wild with it. So there's the base for you to make and Let's do our taste test. Super simple. <gasps> Who's gonna Can we taste, taste it? Taste it, Ruthie. Are you gonna taste it? Oh. Oh. Mm. <laughs> He's just woke up. There's a bit of a strong flavour. Don't be a strong flavour. Want some more? Mmm. Yum 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 yum. yum. yum, yum, yum. Double me. Mmm. Delicious. Let's get a bit with the with the um. It's with delicious. It. Yeah. Mmm, it's nice, Brucey. So nice. It's great for you, full of all the nutritional, medicinal properties mm. of that amazing wood here. Yeah, it's so good, and it's not just eating it that's good for you, it's getting out and foraging it that's, that's good for it. you too. So The mushroom is healing, but so is just the experience of nature itself. Yeah, so enjoy guys, and also, if you like what we've done today, then definitely hit that subscribe button, because yeah. you'll get notifications of when we upload our next video that will be all about the outdoors and what you can forage <laughs> yeah do all their modern world things like comment subscribe because mm. it really helps our channel grow so we keep can keep creating this <laughs> this, <laughs> this content <laughs> is that is nice that Ruthie? is it a thumbs up thumbs up maybe don't forget to subscribe <laughs> oh, yeah, you too, <laughs> and follow us on Facebook and Instagram because we're all over the social medias too. Yes, yeah, we're on there as well. And sharing is caring, guys. So share the video and all loads of other people will be able to <laughs> yeah. find out about how to make Chinese <laughs> soup from wild mushrooms. Yeah, share our video if you liked it and found it educational, then please share it to your social medias too to help us grow like the woody is. Yes. Yeah, definitely. Anyways, people, it's been a pleasure. I don't know. And we'll see you all next time. Yeah, they're good. <laughs> Peace. Peace.